Hello and welcome to the Spectrum Show 16K edition. In this series we'll be taking a look exclusively at 16K games for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. This episode's game is Firebirds, released by Softech in 1983. You can probably guess what type of game this is going to be by the inlay. Yes, it's a good old fashioned shoot 'em up. The game is obviously trying to emulate the arcade game Phoenix, but Softech have changed the format slightly and the graphics, probably to avoid copyright issues. The first level consists of a swirling pack of red birds that occasionally drop bombs, usually when you are directly under them. These move around the screen after a set amount of time and can sometimes cause problems, especially if they swarm near the bottom of the screen. Moving to the next level involves clearing these birds, and this is the same for all other levels. On level 2 you get a large blue alien that moves in a figure of 8, dropping bombs. Occasionally it will stop and fire a laser straight down. Hitting this involves timing your shot to meet the alien's path, and once you get the hang of it it can be quite easy. If you get past this, we get large white aliens that slowly move down the screen, again dropping bombs. And by the time you get to this level, the screen is pretty busy. And it gets to a stage sometimes where there's just no place to hide. The large white aliens are easier to hit, but the red swirling birds and the blue aliens are still floating about, so the difficulty level does ramp up. If you manage to get past these, it's on to the grand finale and the mothership. This huge graphic slowly drops down the screen, protected by the swarming red birds. And as with Phoenix, you have to blast a hole through the lower rotating shield and try and get a shot into the heart of the ship. Sometimes you can get lucky, like I did when recording, other times it can take quite a while. The graphics are smooth, but lack animation. I suppose in this type of game it really doesn't matter, because the action is fast enough for you not to notice. Sound is good too, with some really nice effects for the introduction and in-game sounds. Control is by keyboard only, but with just left and right and fire it's not exactly taxing. Difficulty is about average I think, and if you get a good run of the aliens not swarming in difficult places you should be able to get quite far and at least get to the final level. The last level can be tricky like I've said before, but it's not overly tough, and you certainly feel a sense of achievement if you actually manage to complete it. Once you complete it though, it's back to the start, but with faster aliens. Yes, come on! It's a simple game, but does have some variety with the different alien types and movement patterns and I like to load this up now and again for a quick blast. The game also has an attract mode, something often missing in Spectrum games. For 1983 it's not bad actually, and there were certainly a lot more shoot 'em ups that were worse than this, but there were very few that matched this in the early days. I suppose Arcadia springs to mind, but it wasn't until Phoenix from Megadodo and Mooncrester from Incentive came along that we got anywhere near this. Give it a try if you're a fan of shooting, which you might just like it. I'll be back with another 16K game soon. Thanks for watching.